Hey guys, welcome back to AZ Triumster. Well, it finally happened. I sold the 77 Yamaha XS500. Um, somebody inquired and uh, did some talking for some time and uh, I wasn't real sure if they were that serious and uh, until they uh, you know, threw me some cash to actually hold on to it for them and then they, uh, they were working on selling a vehicle of their own so they would have the the funds to, to buy the bike and so I was holding it and uh, and then it all just happened so quickly you know he hits me up and says he's actually in the area because he lives across town but he was in the area selling his his car to somebody fairly nearby and he goes yeah looks like it's going down you ready to do this and I'm like crap I don't even have the title notarized or anything so I ran out got the title notarized came back he was already here waiting for me and uh, inside of I'd say a half an hour the bike was sold and gone but um, you know, in other cases, other times I've sold a motorcycle to kind of look back and say, or even at the moment, just like, oh man, what am I doing? But, you know, a lot of things considered, I'm, I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, um, this younger guy, uh, who bought it, um, you know, I feel like it's going to a good home. He has some, some motorcycling experience and, uh, seems to really dig the retro motorcycles and the cafe look. So, uh, I'm, I'm happy about the home it's going to. And uh, I about broke even on it, you know, and, and for me, I'm not in this game to make money. I'm just trying to enjoy the projects and uh, and uh, and build something cool. And if it ends up being something somebody likes and they want to throw me a, some money for it, I'm down. So, and then lastly, you know, I've got the 79 Cowie KZ400 sitting on the side of the house, uh, just waiting to be worked on. So that's kind of been in the back of my head. And so now I've got a good chunk of change to roll right into that. So here's what's happening for um, for the next a few months and then what'll set me up for 2021 real nice. I've got a third car garage going in right here on the side of the house. Um, and basically I've got 20 feet from this western wall all the way to the property line. And we're building about, I don't know, 13 feet 13, 14 feet worth of that, all the way back to that patio covering. And at the back half, there'll be a laundry room pantry, but a majority of that space is gonna be a third car garage. And I'm gonna have about two and a half feet um, on the western side of it, allowing me room for tooling. So I'm thinking air compressor, welder, sandblasting station, drill press, all just on and on and on, all kinds of different tooling, motorcycle, lift, so that way, I'll have an abundance of space and tooling to really afford to this, uh, this KZ400 build. And uh, I've got some really cool ideas in mind for that bike. So um, I'm excited and keep writing things down. And these things are fluid, so you know, as you, as you get closer and progress through them, they, uh, they have a tendency to evolve, but uh, it's only gonna get better. And having the space and the tooling is going to allow me to um, go further with the build and also um, rely more on myself for these things as opposed to outside sources. And, uh, and being that I sold the, the 77, the Yamaha, um, for a, you know, a decent chunk of change, I've got that amount that I can literally just roll right into the KZ. So all very good things. And... Um, you know, all kind of finishing out 2020 real strong and getting into 2021 with some good big plans. So stay tuned, guys. Subscribe to the channel because uh, you're going to want to check out this KZ build as it unfolds. I'll probably do a few more things to the Harley, so that should be some cool stuff. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button. Uh, and as always, stay safe, guys.